Hey everybody, I'm Adam. This week I'm going to be showing you how I made the car that we'll be using in our game. So, you can already tell probably I'm starting out with the wheel. And I took a cylinder and I made a couple loop cuts, which you can actually do by pressing Ctrl R. And I just did this, right now I'm extruding. So I just extrude and I move it around. And then you'll see I just the pink line that you saw briefly, that was me doing control R. And now I'm setting up the wheels and I just made the frame. And how I make that frame is I use a curve, but instead of a regular curve, I set it to a polygon type, so it's straight. And you can set a bevel to the curve, which is you can take like an object. So I took a circle and I set that to be the bevel object for the curve. And so that's why it has the shape it has. I could, I have the circle that is the bevel object in another uh, scene in this file. And I can change the shape and change the size if I wanted the bevel object to be different. Um, so yeah, basically I'm just taking those curves. They're not really curves, but they're they're defined as curves, and I'm using those to make the structure of the dune buggy-esque machine car. Um, and I'll, um, this that, that side is going to be duplicated over, but now I'm working on the seat. Um, and this is really just, I start with a cube, and then you can see on the side I have a modifier, and it's the subsurface modifier, I believe. And that just makes everything smoother. And of course this doesn't look very smooth, but we can't have too many polygons. So this just kind of fits the needs because it, it makes it seem more round than if that was just a rec bunch of rectangles. Um, and now this is the funny part. I'm, we decided we wanted to be a little bit comical. So because you're like on this planet with your broken ship, you took a piece of your ship off the rocket and you put it on the back of the car. So you have this rocket boosted car and just like the wheels, that's just a cylinder with a bunch of extrusions. And I merged the points at the end for the tip. And oh yeah, I'm doing like the fuel canisters on the side now. And, I mean, these are pretty basic shapes. You can make a lot of stuff with basic shapes. This is just a cylinder. And I'm gonna use the same control R, the loop cut that I used on the wheels and you can scroll and set how many there are. And that's how I get those cuts. So I wanted six and then I can just scale them down relative to each other. And then I can get the shape I want. And I think something went wrong there. So I had to start over, but um, yeah. So I just extrude and scale those up a little bit. And I have one on the other side. Oh yeah, this is one of the cooler parts. So this is, I'm using curves again, just like I did for the body of the car. But instead of it being a polygon shape, it's the default curve. So it's just a regular curve. And so that's why it looks smooth. And it's using the same circle bevel. And yeah, you can just kind of set where that goes. So that was a pretty fast, easy way to do that. Um, and now I'm just using, this is just a plane. And I'm just moving the polygons around to make some of the sheet, the sheets of metal that go on the car. This is one of the last parts. This is the part where the axle connects to the wheels. And this is kind of a detail part. You could kind of skimp past parts of this. Like if you were doing a regular car and your wheels were like sunk into the side of the car as opposed to a dune buggy where they're exposed on the outside, you could probably get by without doing an axle. But with our game, we want to do a lot of like suspension and the wheels moving around. So we actually need, we actually need, um, axle support so that it can move around and look cool. And once again, I, I used a lot of curves for this car. That's another curve just set to not have curves. And I'm using a different bevel. I'm using, I think you saw it briefly. You see it there. The, they're very small. The, circles that I'm using, especially for the axle, because I needed the I needed the curves to be thinner than the rest of it. And that's the finished product. Next week, Gabe is going to be working on Unity and putting this car in there. So that'll be 
pretty cool to see. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you then.